Hogwarts Legacy's combat throws a lot at you. Between control spells, damage spells, stunning spells, curses, and even magical plants and potions, it requires a lot of awareness of both your enemies and your own capabilities. But don't worry, we're here to help with 12 essential combat tips. Rather than firing off spells individually, focus on combos. For example, Incendio only hits at close range, so you can use Levioso to start a juggle with normal spell shots, use Accio to yank an enemy towards you, and then use Incendio to set them alight. Other than ancient magic attacks or stupefy, enemy shields can only be broken using a spell of the corresponding color, violet, yellow, or red. This can easily get overwhelming, so it may be a good idea to match each face button to a specific color. For instance, on Xbox, you can use B for red spells, Y for yellow, and X for violet, since it's close to blue. Just find a system that works for you and stay consistent. Speaking of ancient magic, the meter fills up quickly while comboing with your basic shots, so make sure you use it. Pressing both bumpers at the same time can break shields and do massive damage, often even killing an enemy outright. You can even spec into some talents that fill the meter every time you perform certain actions. And throwing objects at enemies, including the highly damaging red barrels, doesn't cost anything. Deal with enemies standing above you first. They love to stay at the edges of the field and pelt you with stuff, so bring them down to your level quickly. Utilize stealth when you can. Using the Disillusionment spell and Petrificus Totalis, you can sneak around enemy encampments and stealth take down enemies, eliminating them from any future fights. You can also use invisibility potions during fights to activate stealth even after being seen. Visit the enemy's collection menu to discover important information about certain enemies, including techniques to utilize, weaknesses to exploit, and certain spells that an enemy may be most vulnerable to. Some of these are very context-specific, such as blocking a troll's boulder to send it right back at him. It's easy to only focus on the symbols over your head, so you know whether to counter or dodge, but enemies can use AoEs or area of effect attacks as well, even jumping high into the air or burrowing underground to disguise their attacks. Keep your head on a swivel and keep an eye on a good escape route if things get too hairy. Almost every time you parry, you should be holding down the counter button to ensure you cast Stupefy. You can also improve Stupefy with certain talents, such as giving it the ability to curse enemies or even do damage on its own outright. You can't interrupt a spell casting motion once you start, so make sure there's not an incoming attack waiting for you before you cast. Hitting an aggressor with Stupefy or lifting groups of enemies can ensure you have time to get spells out. That being said, keep in mind that Stupefy will launch at whomever you're targeting, not necessarily who you just blocked, so you can use attacks from enemies on the periphery to activate Stupefy for your most troublesome target. If you care about your appearance, keep an eye on the dueling feeds at the bottom right of the screen. Fulfilling these requirements will get you closer to unlocking new cosmetic options, and they're just fun ways to try new things in combat. Equip the item you think you'll need before starting an engagement, if possible. You can always open the item wheel mid-combat, but going in with a solid plan at the start, whether it be potion or plant, can save your fumbling fingers from wasting valuable resources. Those plants don't grow on trees, you know. And that'll do it for our 12 essential combat tips in Hogwarts Legacy. Let us know in the comments below which house you chose, and while you're here, make sure to check out the first 25 minutes of gameplay in 4K. And for everything else gaming, keep it locked to IGN. Stupid.